Uh, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of That Guy in the Hybrid. As you can tell by me yelling, it's very early in the morning. It's 6.05 a.m. 6.05. And I am half asleep. Today, we're going to Grinspeed Motorsport because um, that day that I was following the R34, that JZX100, I broke my car. Um, and when I say broke my car, I messed... Something happened, and now the valve clearances are not very happy. I did redline it quite a bit. This is quite a high mileage car. It's got 102,000 miles at the moment. And although I've been very good with the regular upkeep of it, I've not actually had the valve clearances done since I've owned it, and I've owned it since 72,000 miles. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit terrible. Um, I probably should have got it done a bit sooner. There's a, there's a, there's a few bits and bobs that need to be done. But here, can you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or hear it on the camera. The car is like so we're gonna get that sorted and what we're also getting sorted is steering wheels like this to go straight and it pisses me off so freaking much um, so we're gonna get a full fast road setup at green speed mode speed today um, hopefully they'll let me film I have I have asked them but Oh, it's too early in the morning. I need coffee. Coffee, please. So uh, we've arrived in <laughs> at McDonald's because I've still not had breakfast yet. So I thought I'd grab a quick, quick breakfast. All right, what did we get? Partly some tissues. My cappuccino is there. Oh, McDonald's! We got the breakfast roll. No egg, no cheese, and the best. Onwards to Grinspeed. Um, Grinspeed's about 35, 36 miles away from my house. So I'm going to put some nice music on and do a time warp. Hope you enjoy. So uh, we've just arrived at Grinspeed Motorsport. Um, I'm a bit early, about 15 to 20 minutes early. Um, they asked me to be here for about half seven, um, just so they can get on with my car as soon as possible. Um, hopefully they should be here soon. If not, I'm just gonna sit in the car and um, just basically wait for them to get here. So we've had some insanely sound guys um, at Grinspeed. It's awesome, some of the stuff they've got in there. Um, so at the moment, I don't think I've ever seen this many DC tanks in one place. And at the moment, because of COVID restrictions, I can't go in. But I don't know if you can see that corner. is currently for sale because I fancy a three separate set. But I don't know. But let's see these cars come out. Originally wrapped in wine, and there's carpet bits on it. But what I can tell 
Mountain, it? I still remember when these were about five grand, and you could find a, quite a few of them. Well, they should be worth now. I'd say about thirty to the Irish, at right least. Ahead.
So uh, the guys at Grin Speed have just taken the car out for a quick check down. Uh, they've been fantastic. The fourth for me, Bruce. Honestly, if you want anything Honda related, any car related really, it's a eight six inch. Um, they've had some fun cars. So if you're yeah, anything car related, uh, a bit technical, come down here. Honestly, um, I can't thank them enough. Uh, up to now, they've been really accommodating, really nice. Told me a couple of faults that my car has, which uh, we're gonna get sorted soon and you know they've also tried to convince me to get a K20 and put in my CRZ. I think everyone seems to do but let's see what he says uh, when he comes back from the test drive. Let's see if the uh, the power is that lacking that you know a K20 is needed. I don't think it will be. I think it will put a smile on his face. Tracking wise it seems like there was a lot, a lot of it was off. Uh, some of it, the back end was okay, but the front end was pretty terrible. Um, it does sound like it has cams, so we've had the valve clearances done, and it does seem like the car has had cams, so we don't know what its life was like in Japan, what it was done. It feels like it's got an LSD, but we still don't know. But I'm going to get an M, M factory, because these guys do M factory stuff. I'm going to get an M factory um, LSD put in, and hopefully uh, an LSD one, so it should be done much better. speeding trolley come down there we go the cars there yeah. well, okay I'm gonna sign off the video here um, took the car out for a drive Jesus it is so so much better my god it feels so much better like it is insane how much a fast road setup changes the way the car feels it feels so much more grippy there's not torques here as there used to be um so i'm a lot more confident with it and honestly the guys at grin speed are fantastic um i think we're in the talks for either a diff or maybe a k20 uh we'll see how much it's gonna um cost either way i sort of don't want to get rid of the miles per gallon but at the same time k20 um but we'll see um hopefully hopefully it'll be all good and don't forget to follow me on instagram down here and like and subscribe to the videos and check out some of my other videos